The UK has been welcoming international students to its universities and colleges for many years. Its higher education system is renowned for its academic excellence, where the quality and standard of undergraduate courses are guaranteed through the work of various official bodies. Studying in the UK offers a great opportunity to improve your knowledge of the English language. Speaking English fluently is a vital skill to have if you're considering entering the international business world. The UK is full of many different cultures and people, another reason why international students are interested in coming to study here. We discovered two groups of international students from London University and local college in Hertfordshire to take us into their lives moving and studying in the UK. Our first stop is Oakland's College, the main campus based in St Albans, Hertfordshire. We visited an English class for international students. You can't walk any faster, can you? And so you all get into a rhythm together. And that rhythm sent the bridge swinging like that. And ten years ago, it was mostly Europeans. We'd have Spanish, Italian, French, German. And then seven years ago, it was mostly Chinese. Yeah? And there was lots and lots of Chinese coming over. And then five years ago, three years ago, no, five years ago, lots of Polish, so we had lots and lots of Polish students. Now it's all Spanish. As the economies change in these different countries, yeah. we get different people coming. It changes all the time. Mm. And then we always get our international students as well, not many. Yeah. What else have we got in London? What else is in London? London Bridge. London Bridge? Yes. Which one's London Bridge? The only one. The good one is um, the Tower of Bridge in uh, <laughs> yeah, London Bridge is really boring. <laughs> yeah. so usually they're much more motivated because they've come a long way. Yeah. They don't actually just live here and popping down the road. So they're usually more motivated and often just a little bit more matured as well. They're usually a little bit older. Our students are normally 18 to 25. So that a little bit older. Yeah. So it's not Celine Dion. Oh, thank you. Oh, we could put that in, couldn't we? <laughs> No. <laughs> okay, so it's this vocabulary here. Yeah. I suppose one of the most interesting was Javi. He was a Colombian student a few years ago. And um, with all the preconceptions we've got of Colombians anyway, because all Colombians, you know, they're all drug dealers and blah, 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 blah. Well, he was here on a student visa and he was allowed to work 20 hours a week. And uh, the boss said to him, uh, can you do an extra shift this week? And he thought, the boss has said it's okay, so I will. And he was working in the kitchen this one day. And suddenly, there's lots of shouting around him and most of the, uh, most of the people who worked there were Polish. And it was just before Poland entered the European Union. So they were all suddenly blah, 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 blah. And they were jumping out of windows, running out the back door, as the police came in the front door, looking for illegal workers. Well, Harry thought he was legal. He said, you know, I've got my visa, I've got my work permit. And they went, oh, where are you from? And he went, Colombia. And um, how long have you been here, blah, blah, blah. And you worked last year, last week you worked for 26 hours instead of 20. So now you're an illegal worker. So they took him off, they took him down to the um, detention centre at Heathrow. His girlfriend, a French girl, Maivy, came over and she came running up to me in class. Dave, Dave, Harry's been arrested, Harry has been arrested. It was on a Thursday night he was arrested, so Friday morning she came. And I said, oh, don't worry, we'll sort it out. And uh, over the weekend, she went down to visit him a couple of times. And then we heard on Monday morning, 
he's been deported. And we got hold of uh, the local MP and he got onto the Home Secretary. And by the time she intervened, Javi was on a plane and to get from London to Colombia, you go London, Madrid, Madrid, South America. So he's on the plane thinking, that's it, that's the end of my life in Britain. And he got as far as Madrid and suddenly the police turned up there and said, no, you're not going any further. Get back on the plane, you're going back to England. And he was just saved. And that was in 19... Oh, I can't remember, about 10 years ago. And then three years ago, I was invited to their wedding. They were still together out in, um, in France, they were at the time. And then two years ago, they moved back to England and they're living in Oxford now. And last year, no, not last year. Oh, yeah, last year in September, they had their first baby. And so, you know, that was quite a nice little story that was lucky they didn't get deported. Uh, that was a nice story. I wanted to gain new experience this and take a gap year after my year after all the years of school. First of all I wanted to improve my English and I thought it would be quite good to have a gap year between school and university as I've done my A-levels when I was 18 so it's quite early. The first one is that you have really bad food. <laughs> well, um, the black humour and that in England they're mostly nice and friendly behaving people. They are well known as good manner and just gentlemen with umbrella and um, smart suit with hat. So yeah, that's it and I think it is true. Nice band, ocean or sea? Both. Ocean. Dam. Dam. Oh, then it's for me. Um, I was in the class. My tutor was asking about how many cameras are you using, and I, I was too lazy to speak word two. So I just said, like that. I just did body language, and then he said, "What?" And everyone in my classroom was laughing at me. And then I, you know, at the time I didn't realize why people are laughing to me. So I was curious why they are laughing because um, this thing is acceptable in South Korea to do that but he said it is really bad um, body language and it is swearing so I was so embarrassed <laughs> yeah I'm never gonna do that again yeah, which one's for industrial things mm. What's your hardest moment during living in the UK? I'm really missing my family. As I'm working as an au pair, it can be quite challenging to work with the children because it's always depending on the mood of the whole family and the situation. And yeah, that's quite hard. And to motivate myself to go to school again because I've actually finished it and then quite hard to get up and study for it. When I just realized having a problem in language, it comes me really hard moment. In 2008, there were around 1.8 million full-time undergraduate students in higher education, of which over 100,000 were international students. Each year, more and more international students from over 180 different countries are choosing to pursue their higher education in a UK university or college. With big cities, rural towns and villages, modern and historical architecture, the UK is a diverse and exciting place to explore. Rachel is an international student who goes to University College London. She took us around her accommodation hall to show what it's like for international students living in the UK. Um, this is Astor College, a student accommodation at UCL. Um, it's one of the oldest college that we have here. Um, so we have both uh, local students and international students. Um, there's some of floors here. I live on the fifth. Okay, so we're going into <coughs> student common room. 
Yeah, so we have a telephone here for international, uh, international students to call home and then walking in. Um, the laundrette. So we have like a, just a few washing machines here. Um, for the dry cleaning, we we have to spend a pound, and for the for the normal washing machine, we need to spend two pounds. And then here we have a computer room. Uh, all the UCL computers, we need to use our uh, UCL ID, um, password to log in, so everything's stored perfectly in here. Um, so this is our corridor. Uh, yeah, so we have a lot of flyer doors, and then they have to be closed at all times. <coughs> the girls' bathrooms here. So my room is all the way down the hall. <coughs> She's so <Aww>. funny. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my kitchen. <laughs> yeah, um, we always eat. Hey. Here and these are my friends. <laughs> okay. So this is my room. Uh, very small. We have a bed and the radiator, the desk. Um, we have everything we need. We even have a mini fridge. I kind of stuffed under the desk um, to create more space in the center. <clears throat> um, yeah. So basically, everything's enough and. Our kitchen where is all stored in the kitchen. Um, and for me personally, I bring all the stuff all the way from Beijing. It's quite far away, so uh, I had to buy a lot of stuff here rather than um, bring all the way from Beijing. But most of my friends, they live very close to London. Um, they have their parents to drive all their stuff here. <clears throat> These are the these are the smallest rooms in Astor College. The bigger ones are down at home. Um, yeah, I think we are good. Some international students are willing to talk to us about their new life and experiences. For a variety of reasons. First, it's because my parents are both educated in the UK, so my mum also studied at UCL. Um, so they both wanted me to come here for education because they believe that the UK's education system is. Uh, the best in the world, I guess. My first goal when I came here is that I would like to improve my English because to become an engineer in France it's really important to speak English fluently. So that's my first goal and I came especially in the UK because it's quite close to France. And uh, I thought that here I would have uh, learned the best English accent. I always knew that I wanted to do an exchange and somewhere in Europe and I felt like I should go to an English-speaking country to make the experience easier. Um, and I wanted to be in a big city, so London just seemed like the right fit. I guess the general perception is very um, cliché. It's the things that people think about when you hear like the UK, like, oh, everyone likes to drink tea, it's always cold, it's always rainy, um, uh, they all love the Queen, stuff like that. I think that the biggest thing we think about the English people are is the fact that they are quite cold and uh, they don't really try to speak with people they don't know and uh, yeah and that, that they, maybe they drink a lot of beer too this is the first the second point yeah well, my home country is Hong Kong and the living pace is very quick and people are working under high pressure unlike Hong Kong UK is a more relaxing place and people are work, uh, living very re relaxing and their different pace is slow. Yeah, I think people here are more like YOLO, you know, if you have, you have time, energy, money, you just kind of just live the moment. But at home, people are more like saving money for future and worrying all the time. So it's, um, and they're not that chilled by everything. In the US and Canada, people are probably a lot more open. Um, especially in Texas, they're just really friendly, you know, you'll say hi to someone for no reason just because or wave to someone, but here I don't really feel like that. People, I think, kind of keep to themselves more. The fact is that sometimes when you are with many English people and you are, it's quite tiring to speak all the time a language which is not yours. 
So sometimes you are really, really tired to speak English and you, you feel a bit... Sometimes most of your friends are working and you are not. So you can get bored, I think. Sometimes when I just feel very lonely, I just sit in my room and listen to music from back home. I would call, call up my friends and uh, just talk to them for a while. And after that, everything just... Yeah, it's all right. I think the hardest thing is missing my family and my friends. Um, for example, during reading week last October, I got really sick. I had tonsillitis and I couldn't get out of bed. And back home, it would be like my parents taking care of me. They'd bring me to the doctor. Um, I'd also have my friends like wishing me well whilst here. Because it was, I was so new, didn't have the friends yet to like take care of me, and I had to go to the doctor by myself. And it's just, it's just. At times like those, when you really feel like you're missing home and you're missing like the, that feeling that you have of being somewhere you, where you've grown up with and like where you feel like you belong. Um, I guess just missing my friends and family, and it's hard to call them because of the time difference. Well, I go to school in Canada, but it's only one hour difference from Texas where I live, so I can easily talk to my friends and family. And plus. Phone calls aren't long distance, but here, you know, it's only really Skype and um, usually pretty late at night. Je dirais euh, donc à ma famille, à mes amis euh, qui m'attendent dans Montpellier, que, bah, que je les embrasse d'abord, que je pense très fort à eux et euh, que je passe un super moment ici en Angleterre pendant toute cette année que je, où je réalise ma dernière année d'école d'ingénieur. Voilà. Hi mommy and daddy, hi friends, uh, I miss you all so much. I'm in UK right now and I hope that you're here with me um, to see what it's like. So I really want to go home and go back there to eat all the nice food we all like the curry fish and everything. Yeah, okay, I miss you all. Mama, what's that? I'm in I love you guys and miss you and for those of you who are visiting, I can't wait and um, I'll be back soon. Okay. Hi guys, um, I miss you a lot. Uh, it's really cold, walking here is really windy but um, I'm doing well and I hope you are too. Um, please go eat some good food for me because I can't have any. <laughs> miss you, love you. Bye. Mama, hallo Papa, ich vermisse euch und ich hoffe, dass wir uns bald wiedersehen. Äh, ich freue mich, euch wieder zu sehen. Oh, Oma, Papa, Lego. Julia, der gesehen, der geht. Der geht. Der geht. Der geht. Der geht.